Hi guys, this is Mrs. Novella in the Expressive Arts Room, and today I'm going to review how to pre-plan your weaving process on your shield template. So by now, you have pinned your foam board according to the pinning checklist that you filled out on the other day. And today, you're going to, on your sketch design, you're going to place dots everywhere that you have pins on your board. So you'll place dots along the border, your template, and around your shield design. And make sure that when you make those dots that it looks just like the pins that you have on your foam board. So once you're done with that, then you need to simulate the weaving process. So you'll select the color of color pencil that you're gonna use for the yarn and you'll need a ruler. Now, the goal is to weave in between the pins or from pin to pin using the looping method to create condensed color within the negative space that surrounds the symbol. Some of your space is going to be narrower just depending on where you place the shield and some of your space within your shield is going to be farther apart in which case you might have to use a different looping approach and weaving approach to make sure that the spaces are equally as condensed and have color. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do this and I'm shifting my shield around and I'm getting to the point farthest down here and I'm going to begin by connecting it. So pretending my pencil is yarn, I'm going to loop my yarn around this pin and I'm going to thread it around this pin and then I'm going to move on and then connect it to this pin and then from that pin I'm going to loop it around and connect it to this pin. From there, I'm going to loop it around that needle, shift my ruler up, and connect it to this pin, and continue this process going from this pin to this pin, and from this pin to this pin. So I'm creating angles as I'm pinning, and those are the angles that I'm creating with my color pencil. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to bring it up close. You can follow my pencil from this pin here, there, here, there, here, there, and here. You're going to continue that all the way around, or all the way down your section. And what you may find is that the color isn't as bold enough. So let's say you're at this point, and you realize this space isn't condensed enough, it's not a solid yellow, then you'll go back and you'll weave it the opposite direction going from this pen to this pen, continuing those angles to overlap the weaving. And this is what you must do anyway. You must have these angles going back and forth. The number of times that you do this really depends on how condensed the area looks when you're done. What you'll need to do is you'll need to simulate this color pencil process around your entire worksheet so that you have a concrete plan for how you're going to approach your weaving in class today.